Hello guys, I hope that you are all very well and welcome back to my channel. So as per the title, today's video is going to be a favourites. I'm going to call this like a current favourites I think because I can't even think about what month these favourites were in so it's just the kind of products I've been loving over the last couple of months. As usual like in all my favourites videos I will pop links to all of the items below. Just a little disclaimer I do use affiliate links when I can on products which means the product is the exact same price for you but I can make a few pennies off of anything that you do buy but feel free not to use the affiliate link but I've linked the products down there for ease and yeah I've got an array of things today from foliage to homeware and beauty and of course a book as well so I'm just gonna get straight into it and get on with the favourites. So the very first thing on my favourites list is this neon hand cream. So I don't know about you but in the winter my hands really really suffer, everything suffers really, I just feel dry all over, I don't really drink enough and I don't apply hand cream enough. Um, but this is my absolute favourite hand cream, it's really good because it's the kind of size hand cream that's going to fit in your handbag, it's not like a giant one that's going to take up loads of room and it is just so nourishing. So it's by the brand Neon which if you didn't know already is one of my favourite brands. I've actually got another product to show you from the range. Um, but yeah this is the scent Boost Your Energy and basically you put it on, I really need to use it now actually, um, like any normal hand cream, rub it in but then Neon do tell you to then cup your hands over your face and inhale the scents. It's all made of natural essential oils and it's meant to help boost your energy. It's the kind of smell that you just expect from like spa products um, and yeah I just absolutely love, love Neom. I think this would make a really good gift as well. I might actually have to include it in my Christmas gift guide in a couple of weeks. Sticking with the same brand, I wanted to show you these, which I have probably featured in a favourites video before. I definitely know I've mentioned them on my Instagram stories, but I couldn't let this favourites video go by without mentioning them, because I've been having a ton of baths lately, now it's getting into winter and it, I like to feel like warm and cosy, and every time I have a bath I use these. So I've got the new G7X Mark III and it doesn't like to focus. Um, so yeah, I use these Neom Bath and Shower Drops. It's all essential oil. I have had these for over a year and they last forever and I have like a bath every week or bath every fortnight so you basically use the pipette to put the drops into your bath it's called the de-stress scent um, and it's meant to help you relax it's probably all placebo but I just really like inhaling all the essential oils so you put it into your bath you can also put a pipette of it along your decolletage love that word um and it just helps to helps you to relax by inhaling all the essential oils. So the next thing I've been really loving is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. So I use this a bit like a toner. I've not really been a big toning girl. I feel like toning is back in like the 90s, used to cleanse, tone and moisturise. Um, I don't think everybody needs to tone and my skin definitely reacts to some toners. But I actually saw this when I was buying a fur coat in Urban Outfitters and I'd heard quite good things about Mario Badescu so I thought I'd give this a go and I find it really really gentle on my skin it's got herbs aloe and rose water I don't find that it makes my skin tight and I just quite enjoy using it before I put my moisturizer on as a little bit of like a refresh to my skin I think you can also spray this over makeup but I'm yet to try it to kind of hydrate your face again or after you've been wearing makeup for a few hours um, I'm yet to try it like that but yeah I really really like it and it smells good too so the next thing was actually gifted so hashtag gifted, I don't know what this is, that's like an X factor, but hashtag gifted um, in a birch box which I get gifted monthly by uh, by the company. Um, this is not a brand I'd ever heard of before before I saw it in birch box and that is why I love birch boxes and beauty boxes so so much because you discover brands that you wouldn't necessarily think of trying or think of going into a shop to find um, and I will definitely be repurchasing this once it's finished. It's by a brand called Lumen and it's called their Nordic Sea Arctic Berry Oil Cocktail. It's basically a serum. I have absolutely no idea what the benefits are supposed to be because I've thrown away the packaging and it doesn't really say much on the bottle, but um, I can tell you that since I've been using this, my skin has been incredible. Like, I've never had a great skin. It's quite spot prone. This doesn't break me out. I feel like it's 
given me that much needed hydration over these past sort of few weeks. I've been using this for about eight weeks now and I just feel like if I don't use it, I really notice it. So I've been trying to use this every single night. I use, I shake it up to mix the ingredients inside and it goes a bit funny like this. Two pumps into my hand and then I press it into my skin before I put my moisturizer on. It's really, really lovely and it smells like berries. Anything that smells great, I'm sold on. Um, but yeah, I am not big on using new products on my skin and new serums so yeah I had to mention this because I've been really enjoying it. Sticking along the skincare line I wanted to mention a medicated cream that I've been using so if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I have acne on and off. Right now I feel like I need to touch something wooden. <sighs> right now it's pretty good. Um, I haven't had any serious breakouts and I think my main breakouts were coming from eating dairy which I have now cut out completely or as much as I can. I still definitely have spot prone skin and I saw Lily Pebbles talk about a brand called Dermatica and it was recommended by Caroline Hirons so I thought if Caroline's recommending it she's like a skincare goddess then it must be good. So I had a look and basically it's an online dermatologist service so you don't have to fork out a fortune to go and see an actual physical dermatologist but it's all done online you upload a ton of photos of your skin problems and then they recommend um, creams or medication for you from that and I get sent it monthly it's like a monthly subscription thing I'll leave a little link to it below Um, obviously this is not sponsored or anything but um, yeah I've just been really really raving about it to everyone because what they've given me I think has made a huge difference so it comes in so it comes in a little tube like this and then it has a little sticker on with your ingredients so what I was recommended was an adapalene adapalene 0.1% a niacinamide 4% clindamycin 1% um, and it's 15 mils of this so I use this at night time I put two pumps all over my problem areas I try not to put it in any creases of my nose or near my lips because it can give you quite a lot of dryness um, but it's the first medicated cream I've used that hasn't actually made my skin flake off or scaly or sore it goes slightly red after I use it but I don't know why because it doesn't feel like it's stinging or anything like that it literally feels like there's nothing in it um, yeah, but my skin goes slightly red and then after a little while I put my moisturiser on. I use this every night and yeah, like I said, I get a monthly subscription to it. So it's really worth trying if you've got some problem skin, whether it's acne or dryness or rosacea, is that how you say it? Or anything like that, then yeah, if you've got any skin problems, give it a go. It might be, it might have the solution for you. A couple of makeup items I wanted to mention. I'm actually wearing one on my lips now, but you can't really tell because it's basically like a pinky clear lip gloss. But I was gifted these as well. One of them has got covered in scratches. Oh, I've just realised my friend's little girl was like chewing the top of it, so that's why. Um, but these are lip glosses from the brand Iconic. Iconic's pretty much known, I think, for their very kind of like... Um, highlighty liquid highlighters um, but they actually sent me a ton of lip glosses and their concealer their concealer is actually amazing I probably should have mentioned it in this favorite but I wanted to mention their lip glosses because all of them that they sent me are just beautiful they're lip plumping this one is love struck and this one is peekaboo I'm wearing love struck I find it really nice on its own just as a little wash of color and a bit of like kind of hydration and plumping they have kind of got like a mintiness to them that makes your lips tingle um, but they're also really lovely over lipsticks as well I've got a couple of brighter colors which I wear on their own that I'm kind of like trying to step into now I've had my teeth straightened um, I quite like wearing like brighter colors um, but these are definitely my two favorite colors in the range that they sent me so you may or may not have noticed that I have started wearing my hair naturally curly quite a lot lately I think in my last video or maybe the one before that I had my natural curls out and basically I have had naturally curly hair my whole life and I've been straightening it for like three quarters of my life and um, I feel like 
naturally curly hair is all of a sudden back in fashion and so I thought hang on I've got that I could rock that um so I've been trying to wear it like this and I've only just started feeling confident with it and I think that's down to some of the products that I've been using so I just wanted to recommend somebody's YouTube channel and Instagram and she's actually one of my real life friends her name's Jodie Izzo and her Instagram is at Mama Izzo and she's been doing the curly girl method so I've kind of been taking bits from that I don't want to commit to having my hair curly all the time because I quite like having it straight and wavy and stuff. So I'm not really doing the full curly girl method but I'm definitely taking bits from her recommendations um, and I'm also like researching a lot about it online. And I came across one of these products um, that one of my Instagram followers recommended for my hair. It's called the Cantu Shine and Curl Custard, is that what it's called? Define and Shine Custard. Um, it smells like absolute heaven. It's got a really like holiday pineapple-y scent to it. Um, to show you the texture, it's quite like a gooey gel-like texture. Um, and I was very frightened to use it. And every video I found of people using it, they were using it on um, Afro-Caribbean hair, which obviously my hair is not. Um, but a lot of blogs and a lot of people on my Instagram said that it's still really good in um, European hair and to give it a go. So it's taken a little while. It's been a bit of late, like um, trial and error, but I think I finally kind of got the hang of using it. It's basically like a sheer butter that you're putting into your hair when it's absolutely soaking wet and scrunching it in. And then I basically let mine dry naturally because I don't have a diffuser. I really need to buy one. Um, it takes about six hours to dry and you're kind of left with really defined curls without being like crispy. There's absolutely, I can't feel any product in my hair. You scrunch it all out. It smells lovely, it feels soft. And I just don't have the frizz that I would normally have when I let my hair dry naturally. So if you have got curly hair like mine, so it's quite tight curls but not like ultra tight curls, um, then try giving this a go. If you want to see a video on how I style my naturally curly hair then I'm very happy to do that. I am in no means an expert, very new to kind of having my natural hair out um but yeah let me know if that's something you want to see and i can film it so the next thing i actually totally copied my husband on because he found them on instagram bought one and had one in his car and it's this little fragrance what do we call this it's a, basically an air freshener um the company is called car fume you might have seen them on instagram i think a ton of celebrities have done a lot of um adverts for them but it's got um like perfume inside so this one is Jo Malone pomegranate noir um Scott has what's it called the one in the gold bottle million one million or whatever it is it smells really nice and you basically there's a little plastic cap inside which you take out you shake it upside down and then it basically fills your car with scent and it just smells like your favorite men's fragrance or your favorite women's fragrance i think they're a great christmas present idea or a little gift idea for a friend and yeah they smell lovely and they are a really good price as well so i will pop a link to them below so the next favorite might seem like a really weird favorite because it's like a homeware item but it just makes me smile every time I look at it. It just makes me feel happy. So I thought I would show you in case you wanted one too. And it's this little pot from a company called House of Concrete Pots. Now I was actually gifted this one. I picked it up at the Primark Stacey Solomon event. So they were giving them away and you could basically design your own nipples. So I decided to have pink hearts on my nipples and I just absolutely love it. It's very Copperfield-esque. You guys know I love anything with boobs on and I just think it's so, so cool. It just makes me so happy every time I see it. It reminds me of Copperfield and it reminds me of the Trek and everything like that. It also gives me a bit of a reminder to check my boobs too. And I just think it's a really good gift idea for like a girlfriend or something. It didn't come with these flowers in, so my lovely friend Lindsay has actually started a company called Linny's Wreaths, which I will link below. Um, she's a little um, small business on Instagram and she's doing these faux flowers or fake flowers um, in wreaths or in pots or whatever you like. And she made me this to go into my boob pot and I just absolutely love it. I just think it's flamboyant and it looks lovely and of course the flowers aren't going to die because I am a terrible plant killer. Next up we have a candle and this is one of the new Audi candles. They seem to have changed their packaging for their normal numbered candles um, and they do these like 
what do we call this, iridescent style ones, which at first I was a bit like, mm, don't like it as much, but I actually really love it. Um, so this one is number 22, it's Sweet Almond and Macaroon, and oh my god, it smells so good. I'm being that typical YouTuber which sits and smells a candle that you can't even smell, um, so it's totally pointless, but... It's called Sweet Almond and Macaroon, and that's exactly what it smells like. Or mac is it macaroon or macaron? Um, it smells like sweets and baking and almonds, and it's just so good. Um, yeah, I feel like I might go there, in there and pick up a few more for friends and family for Christmas. The next favourite is, I think, super weird, but I've been using them loads, especially when I went to the Himalayas because it was really cold at night, and it's these hand warmers. These are from a company called Hot Hands. I actually worked with them. I've just remembered I worked with Hot Hands last Christmas. Um, I did a bit of Instagram work with them, but I actually um, bought these ones. Um, you can get these really, really cheap. I got these ones in Home Bargains. They were so inexpensive and they are basically little packs that when they're exposed to air, they get really hot. So you can put them in your boots or you can put them in your gloves or your coat pocket. I used these loads in New York when it was freezing in my gloves and in my coat pockets. I think these would be really good for um, soccer mums and dads who are out there hours on end watching football. So Katie Ellison, get your hands on these. Um, because obviously you're sat, you're sat outside or um, stood outside in the rain and the cold and they would keep you warm. Or if you're just a really cold person like me, you might just want to like pop one open and sit on the sofa cuddling it. So if you followed me for a while, you will know that I really love reading and I always like to mention a book in my favourites. And I don't have a physical book because I read everything on my Kindle, which I've just got here. But I wanted to recommend to you a book called The Holiday. So I've actually cheating a little bit because I haven't quite finished it. I'm really near the end though and I'm just really, really loving it. So it's not The Holiday like the Christmas one. It's, a hol it's called The Holiday but it's about some friends. I think there's like six or seven of them that go on holiday and lots of things happen and I don't want to tell you anything about it. Basically it's a thriller and if you like thrillers and not knowing what's going to come next and what's going to happen from chapter to chapter, then The Holiday would be a great book for you. I'll link it below so you know who the author is and everything because I can't remember who it is. Um, and like I said, I don't really like to tell you too much about books because I've done it before and then someone told me off because I gave them a spoiler. So I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a really good read if you like thrillers. So I'm going to leave my favourites video there. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please Please, please let me know any of your favourite products or books or candles or anything that you've been loving lately in the comments section below and I will see you next time. Bye!